Hi everyone, it's me Rylan. It is, I don't know, Friday, August 10th, 2018 at 11.26 in the morning. Um, and I just wanted to make an acting update video. So, you guys, something really exciting that is like forwarding my career happened, uh, is, no, happened. Um, I started working with a really um, exciting, important, well-known, well-respected, I don't fucking know, famous, uh, agency. I'm not going to say the name, but it's really fucking exciting. Um, I had uh, a meeting with them on the 8th which was the day that I had my two-year anniversary for top surgery. So now August 8th is, is just like a kapow day. Um, so basically, like long story short, I, you know, was able to get a meeting with this agency by the grace of God. And I actually had um, another trans actor help me get an audition with these people and I went in and I met with them and they were so sweet and friendly and welcoming. I was going to say welcome but, and welcoming. And yeah, essentially what I did was I did um, a monologue that um, is pretty bold. Um, the subject matter is pretty fucking intense. And whenever I make the choice to do that monologue for an audition, it's always really jarring um because of the subject matter and I don't want to trigger anyone so I'm not going to say what it's about but it went really well and I was you guys I cannot express the amount of anxiety and fear that I had so like basically like almost a month ago I found out like okay I'm meeting with these people on August 8th I'm doing this monologue like that's it because I have three monologues, like, on hand, like, any second. You could be like, do this monologue, and I'd be like, okay, great. So I was like, I'm doing this monologue. It's from After Ashley um, by Gia Gianfridio. It's, like, one of my favorite plays. Dream role. I really want to play Justin. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do After Ashley because that's, like, I just like it, and I, you know, it's a choice. But then I started recording myself on the 7th to, like, you know, start, like, analyzing and see, like, what I could work on and basically, like, self-direct myself. So then I ended up doing self-taping, which is basically when an actor does a scene or a monologue, um, like, in front of, like, a blank wall and you, you do your material to show casting directors or whatever kind of, um, what you what you have maybe before you're signed with someone but then like when you do have auditions a lot of it is self-taping which is just like the camera's on you it's just you like I said blank wall and it's your audition so I, I did do self-tapes of that monologue and a monologue from Anton Chekhov's The Seagull so then when I did The Seagull which I'm also I really love that that play because I played Constantine and I was able to do the, the whole play in its entirety um, in a professional performance, I was like, oh, fuck, maybe I should do this one because, like, both of these are very vulnerable. Like, they involve me to just be very, like, raw and open, which is surprisingly something I've gotten better at and more comfortable at since graduating acting school. I don't know why or how, but, like, it's, like, slowly I'm starting to, like, open up, like, a flower, and I'm allowing myself to feel, you know, those emotions that we as human beings run away from, um, which is what I think is so exciting about acting, is that as actors, I think we are a really special breed because I always say we run... We fucking sprint towards the emotions that we as humans run away from every day. Nobody wants to feel vulnerable. Nobody wants to be sad. No one wants to cry. No one wants to be angry. No one wants to be depressed. But as actors, we decide to feel these things voluntarily. And then we decide to do them in front of people. And especially for me, I am a theater actor. To do those things live in front of people like multiple times and then pretend like 
all of these things are happening to you for the first time and like you never heard that in the script that your mother passed away so I think that's I don't know I think that's really cool about actors and slowly I've I've been uh, becoming more vulnerable which is great um, so I have no idea what I was saying oh right I did the seagull monologue and I was like this is really good too so then I sent the links to I think five of my friends and was like you guys what do I do everyone but one person told me to do the after Ashley monologue it was literally like 12 o'clock and I still wasn't sure the night before what I was gonna do but I was like you know what I said I was gonna do this monologue I'm sticking to it and I did so then the following day happened and I um you know I couldn't sleep I think I got four hours of sleep and I was like trying to stay calm, but I was very anxious and it was all the way in New Jersey. I live in New York and I had to take like round trip. It was a $76 lift ride, $78 or whatever. I just said $76 that I do not have. So holla for being poor. Um, but yeah, I ended up doing like meditation like I laid lie I was on the floor and I did like a 30 minute meditation I like stretched I just really tried to like get in my body and like just kind of zen out and then I took the lift and I went there and I did my monologue excuse me and we talked and yeah basically at the end of it they were just like you know if like you're interested like we would love to we would love to work with you and um, I feel so honored because this is a really big step in my career because of the, like I said, because of this agency and the respect that they have. I feel really lucky and I hope that something comes along, um, you know, something big that I can really sink my teeth into and begin to make my mark as an actor. And like more than that is like, I don't want to just like make it like I'm not an actor for fame. I'm not in it for the money. I do this because this is my soul. This is what speaks to me. This is what fills me up and gives me purpose on this earth. Um, but like, you know, I want to make my name so I can represent trans actors and so I can represent gender fluid actors and let people know that there are individuals such as myself that are like non-binary and we exist. So that's like my thing, like I want to start a revolution and let people know that we are here, we are queer, and there will be no fear. I don't know, I just added that last part and I kind of regret it. But anyway, that's what's up you guys. So that is my career update as, as um, of today. So thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for being on this journey with me, you guys. I'm really excited to see what happens. And uh, yeah, only time will tell and only, you know, luck will determine what happens. So all right, you guys have a great day. Bye.